What does it mean to be resilient? We're hearing a lot about resilience now with all the crazy stuff going on in our world. And people are talking about it all over the place, but I found not everyone really understands what it means. So what we're going to do is make sure we get a firm grounding in this video in exactly what it means to be resilient for you and what may be steps to start to grow it. In fact, the most important first step. So that's what we're going to lay out. I'm Ravi Tangri, and this is the Soul Engineering series, which is about how do you bring your heart and soul into all of your work, your life, your community, every part of your life. Uh, and each video is about giving you a building block to help you do just that. Thank you to those of you who are liking and sharing and adding uh, the word out here because it's it's great to be able to spread the word about these resources please keep adding your comments i'd like to know what you like about these videos what your questions are what you may want to see coming up uh, so please keep going with the feedback and please make sure you subscribe so that you get all of these videos as soon as they come out Okay, so what is resilience? Let's start off with the dictionary definitions, okay? Now, the th interesting thing is the term originally came from mechanics. When they were talking about using a spring, and if you stretch a spring or if you compress it, its ability to go back to where it was. In our lives, it's not necessarily exactly the same. So one dictionary definition is more mechanical. It's about being able to return to your original shape after being pulled, stretched, pressed, bent, which may not sound fun, but these days sometimes life can actually feel that it's that way. Uh, again, with people, it's not necessarily getting back to the same shape exactly. Uh, and I find if you do have resilience, often it's about getting, you actually build your strength and build your resilience moving forward. Here's another definition, which is more about what happens for us as people. It is tending to recover from or easily adjust to misfortune or change that when there's change how well do you adapt okay and this is going to vary for people by situation and by person so the next step then is let's see the psychological definitions to go in more more deeply and one of the first places that you can go to is the American Psychological Association. And what they say is that resilience is the process and outcome of successfully adapting to difficult or challenging life experiences. Makes sense, right? And again, that can be a little bookish. So uh, another definition I found that really works is it's your capacity to recover from difficult life events. So if stuff happens, things knock you down, how do you... Uh, respond what what does it take for you to respond uh short term long term resources and so on so you know it really is not necessarily going back to the same thing cuz if if you have life events such as some of the things we've been facing uh the last few years uh it's not necessarily people are talking about a new normal it's not necessarily going back to where you were it's about finding that new normal so it's it's what is it that's really core to you that you need uh to you know to continue but then there's going to be aspects that change aspects that grow because you've experienced that my experience has been as i go through difficult things it may take time to get through them i may feel beaten down but by the time i do come through i actually am stronger and uh it, if the same thing hits me again i'm not 
going to be knocked down quite as much or maybe not even at all then and then for other challenges as well so this is an ongoing thing and this is one thing that's really important to realize is that resilience is not something you just have or you don't have it's a set of skills that you can grow and you can deepen now in the next video i'm actually going to list out some of the key uh skills th that are um with resilience and, and the practices but at its core what i found it comes down to and research has so shown this is the one factor that determines your ability to deal with stress and so on is something that is called personal power and these skills fall into that and can help grow that and personal power is your perceived critical word perceived sense of control over yourself and what's happening around you so the more you feel you can control yourself your responses your reactions what's happening with you as opposed to you just going through some things on and on and on and on um the the more you're going to have that strength and also things around you if you feel you have no control over what's going on around you you will generally have less personal power and your resilience is going to be a lot lower because you may feel a victim to all this stuff happening around you now the good news is remember that word perceived these aren't black and white these are how we see the world and the perceptions that we have how um how how we perceive it it's not necessarily true sometimes it's habits of how we see the world how we see ourselves and the good news is you can change those habits and that's really what i want to bring to you uh, is resources to be able to shift those uh, skills those habits because when you're feeling beaten down when you're feeling isolated when you're feeling all of this stuff it can really be hard to get moving it can be a thing of oh is this happening again and it just can be incredibly demoralizing so the key here is remembering that this is something you can develop you can grow don't try to do it all at once identify what you're really good at i'm very much a strengths-based person so i believe in let's identify what you're really good at in terms of personal power in terms of resilience keep that going build that and then pick one or two things that you can develop rather than trying to do everything if you try to do everything you're gonna immediately dis disillusion yourself it's not gonna work so remember what this is about as you grow your personal power it's your capacity to recover from difficult events in life. So how do you build that skill to recover so it's not knocking you down? And that, that's at the core. Now, here's something really, really important to remember as you're on this journey. Because a lot of people, when there's pressure, when there's lots of things happening, when the pandemic has been in its toughest waves, we, were, we had to be isolated. And you can feel very alone it can be hard to to realize that you're not so one of the key things here in growing resilience and what you know one of the key elements of resilience is is social supports and connection and you've got to realize you're not alone to ask for help to find the resources and the people that you can reach out to it's absolutely absolutely critical uh, to make sure you're not isolating yourself because that lowers your resilience and makes it harder for you to move forward. And there's all sorts of resources that you can reach out to, to, to be able to support you as you're moving forward. Now, one of the things I, I want to let you know about this February right now, uh, if you are feeling the pressure of a whole nother wave hitting and all of this it's you know we think it's over i know a year ago people were saying 
you know, have had it with this. Uh, and yet, boom, 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 we've had wave after wave. Uh, I am launching a free seven day challenge, the ramp up your resilience challenge. All you have to do is go to rampupresilience.com and sign up so that you can be there uh, right on time. Make sure you join us and uh, we, we will see you there for a full seven days, giving you key resources that are designed to help you ramp up your resilience. I look forward to working with you.